You wake with an alarm, blaring. You're still in the cryo tubes. I should have told you that, but thank you so much for that was amazing RP. Oh. You're already jumping right in. We've met each other beforehand. That was all before. That was all. Let's yeah. 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 On the tube. Yeah. Right. So the breathing tube. Things. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the glass is inches above your face. I need you all to make a body save. Oh. Mm-hmm. You, whoever succeeded you are able to get the tube out, you get out of your pod, you're fine. Did anybody fail? You're panicking. You're feeling claustrophobic. You are not able to remove the tube and you can't seem to find the evacuation button on the interior of your pod. So you're gonna take an extra point of stress. (sighs) It's getting real. Do we see their panic? Yeah, can we, are we, are we out? Can we get out? You are all out of the pod. <laughs> Zuh. Are we in our Sunday best? You absolutely are. Fuck Ooh. yeah. Taking yeah. stock, everybody. Yeah. Seeing who's got what. <laughs> all right. Uh, I'm gonna run over to... Sergeant Gunner... Gun- Sergeant Garrett. <laughs> Sergeant Garrett. Gunnery Sergeant Cameron Garrett. Gunner you T. get to the touchpad <laughs> panel. Yep. Um, it comes on, and you hear the ship's AI. Mother. Good morning, Nautilus crew. Apologies for the abrupt awakening. We have reached our destination, but we have taken some damage when entering the solar system. We pass through a meteor shower, and the starboard side of the ship above the science lab seems to have been breached, and we are currently leaking oxygen. I have sealed the science lab doors to ensure depressurization does not happen. I have also sealed off the arc from our oxygen supply to make sure that they are kept safe. Do a deep scan of this room to see anything. Hold on, Doc. One sec. Does the does Betsy have a flashlight on her? Yeah. I'll turn on the flashlight and I wanna before you move. Corner, high corners, near corner. I just wanna sweep the room. Any visual contact that might be setting off old Betsy. Dr. Weiser. Oh shit. You start feeling a dripping on the back of your neck. I'm going to look up. As you turn around. Um, Let's put you over here. Okay, so. (laughs) The creature, (laughs) Dr. Weiser, you turn around and you see this massive, Minomorph. <laughs> me, me no more? Because he's mean. Yeah, he's mean. He's, mean. he's so mean. He's so mean. He's so mean. He's that Minomorph. <laughs> Quick, speak in parcel tongue. <laughs> I am towards the mainframe room, as far as I can get. Yeah. And he's oh, did, wait, where, did he push me? He pushed you out of the way, so you're over here. Okay. So, do you want to try to go this way or this way? Oh, no, not towards life support, it's towards mainframe. Oh, towards you know the mainframe. oxygen off is, is off to the whole ship, right? So you're holding yeah. your breath okay. now? I'm... Or do you need to breathe? I am holding, I'm basically holding my he breath. He is, he's synthetic. Do you synthetic. bleed milk, motherfucker? I mean, look at me, of course I bleed milk. Look at this guy. Uh, As you step away, it's going to take an attack. Of it is going to take an attack. As you're watching him get slashed across the throat, you see drips of red blood. Oh, oh no! He's a real boy! You did it to us! You did it to us! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> I thought that was synthetic for sure! Me too. <laughs> I have to care about him now. <laughs> okay. Um, 
The creature is going to take a step towards you, Forrest. Okay. And it is going to take a bite attack. And it's armor or... <laughs> uh, it's or armor or body. Well, either way, I failed by one. I had a, I had a success. Yeah. So. So. Hit him. Okay. The creature inches forward, opens its toothy maw, and just takes a huge bite out of your throat. You take six points of damage. Six points. Oh, jeez. Uh, Shit. How you doing? How you doing? Uh, not great. What's your total health? Uh, six points is at uh, 24 now. 24, I'm gonna okay. ripped out my neck. Who's in the room right now? Uh, I, well, I guess. Gunnery, Forrest. Captain. Captain? Sarge? Sarge, Forrest, and yeah. As you're looking at Forrest, and this creature takes a chunk out of his throat. Shit. It starts dripping his throat and pouring a milky white liquid. <gasps> yes! That dick when you said no! My highest skill is in manipulation. <laughs> I'm just trying to help. <laughs> you somehow, even though he's taken a chunk out of your throat, and you all notice this, at least that are in the room, there's a sense of calm about him. He doesn't have the fear that you all have. Captain Glass screw up. Uh, well, I gotta follow orders. Motherfuckers, <laughs> he's bleeding like her out of his neck, and I'll break. I did this. You feel a dripping on your shoulder. You feel something crawl across your throat and into your mouth. <gasps> <laughs> oh my god. Sarge. Hi. You start to feel an intense pain. You all see and hear muscles and bones <laughs> ripping, being snapped. <laughs> the sounds that Sarge are making are horrifying. <laughs> Guttural. <laughs> His body bends and cracks as this organism is eating him from the inside. <laughs> Looking for a way out, Sarge. As you look down, your chest starts to move. It looks as though dorsal spines are forming underneath your skin. It's painful. You start to scream as you double over in pain and you all hear crunching and a pop and the skin ripping as the creature bursts through his chest, violently removing itself from its host. As Sarge's skin sack falls to the ground. Oh! The creature slithers away <laughs> up into an oxygen. Full vent. speed into the airlock. I am full.